Hello and welcome, I am Gary and Reaver and these are my top 5 gaming franchises. This was voted for by my patrons, if you want to have your say on future top 5s please consider pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. I've been gaming for over two decades, in that time I've played countless games and among them many franchises. In this list I will tell you my favourite of those franchises. Three things to remember, first of all these are my personal opinions so please don't tell me I'm wrong. Two, these are limited only to the ones that I've seen or played. And three, to count as a franchise it must have more than one game that are linked by name, theme, gameplay etc. So Far Cry games, they are a franchise, even without the direct continuity. First of all, a quick honourable mention. I don't normally do these, but Doom. I loved the Doom reboot, it's one of the most solid shooter experiences I've ever had. At time of writing, Doom Eternal isn't out, but I suspect that that will also be just as good, and if it's even about 75% as good, then the new Doom franchise would deserve a place on this list. Number 5. Tomb Raider Reboot I had bad luck with Tomb Raider 2013. When I got it, I did make a few videos on it, but then I had crippling technical issues that meant I had to scrap the entire series. It was then about, probably about two years later that I actually got to play it, but I loved it. The mix of shooting, exploration and platforming was just a big hit with me. I took countless screenshots and I could only shrug as people dismissed it critically. Despite my love of it, it wasn't until last year that I played the sequel, Rise of the Tomb Raider. It was amazing too. Although I found the massive change in Lara Croft's appearance a bit jarring, the gameplay was polished and improved into something truly exciting. Again, I got some amazing screenshots and I do replay levels every so often in working towards the remaining achievements. I have the third game in the series, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I'm currently yet to play it. Although I do love the gameplay, I'm just not as desperate to play more as I am with some of these other franchises. Even so, I think they're really stellar games. Number 4. Pokemon. Starting with this one, every entry in this list has a few big problems that I just, I, I just look past. I've been playing Pokemon since the 90s, and I've so far played Gens 1 through 6. I have Ultra Moon, but I haven't got around to trying it yet, because I still need to finish my playthrough of Omega Ruby. Of them, Gen 3 is definitely my favourite, but that is closely followed by 6, 5 and 2. There are so many amazing, enjoyable games in this series that I could not, not include it. I spend a lot of time thinking about Pokemon even when not doing Pokesins, and I cannot deny that the games have had a profound effect on me. That said, I don't agree with everything they've done. I've said many times that I think they should have stopped at six generations and just made remakes and side games, and that so much from Gen 6 onwards is gimmicky and short-sighted. Mega Pokemon, Alolan Forms, Dynamax, these mostly serve to overcomplicate the games and exist as big originality draws to keep people coming back. That aside, the Pokemon franchise is fantastic. I haven't played many side games, but I'm a big fan of Colosseum and Gale of Darkness, as you may have seen as I've recently finished a Colosseum playthrough on the channel. Number 3. Deponia. I really wish this was higher up on the list. It's such a shame that they had to retroactively taint the franchise the way they did. I can't remember how many times I've gushed over Deponia. The comedy is brilliant, the puzzles range from fantastic to weird, and the art style is so good that I based my entire channel's art around it. Upon completing the original Deponia, I immediately went looking for the sequels. Chaos on Deponia and Goodbye Deponia both get better and better, mixing up the gameplay to keep it interesting. And the trilogy together, because you can get them as the complete journey as one game, it is the single best adventure game I have ever played. It's the first time I've ever felt compelled to contact the developers personally and directly praise them for their work. Why then did they have to go and make Deponia Doomsday? A game equal parts genius and heartbreaking. They set up the perfect start and the perfect end for their franchise in Deponia Doomsday, but let it all slip away. Then they cap it off by giving a middle finger to anyone who invested their emotions in the story. Without the fourth game, this could have been number one. Number two, Dishonored. Despite having only two and a half games, the Dishonored series has a fantastic trajectory of gameplay improvements. I loved the first one, spending hours sneaking around, absorbing the lore and experiencing the game mechanics. 
It was one of those games that makes waves of satisfaction fill you as you watch the end credits. The second was highly anticipated for me. It's a shame I had some hardware trouble stopping me from fully enjoying it at first. When I upgraded my graphics card though, I dove back in and it was truly great. The gameplay was polished and expanded, I could play as two characters in whom I was invested, and the lore was deeper and more compelling than ever. The overall story was a bit lacking, but I, I could ignore that little stumble. When they released the standalone expansion, Death of the Outsider, I didn't know what to expect. It wasn't very long, but it fixed the very few issues the Dishonored 2 gameplay had. I consider it the most functionally perfect stealth game I have ever played. And it's just such a massive shame that where it took the story flew in the face of what made the lore so interesting. I can't explain without spoiling things, but maybe that's a story for another video. And finally, number one, Fallout. This franchise isn't perfect. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. Don't mistake this list for complaining about these franchises. It's just when you're so invested in a franchise, it's easy to, to see the bad parts, for me at least. But just remember that just because I'm complaining about them doesn't mean I at all don't like them, except to Pony Doomsday. I've barely played the Fallout games before 3 because I know that they're the hyper hard kind of RPG that I'm just not into. When I first played Fallout 3, however, I was amazed. I had never before been more immersed in an RPG, and that was back when I played it on a PS3 on a tiny box TV. I played it through two or three times, and I have fantastic memories of all the good and evil stuff I did. Oh, Megaton, the memories. Moving to PC, however, I consider Fallout New Vegas the best game I have ever played. The story, the world, the gameplay was all top-notch. I did find it a bit hard to get back into recently, mostly because modding it has just become so much harder in recent years. The most recent one I've played is Fallout 4, and it is also spectacular. Graphically it's much improved, and the radiant, repeatable quests make gameplay last a lot longer. When you add the vibe that you're starting a new life in this world with the settlement building, it really becomes a game in which to become immersed. Also the modding is, is just fantastic. Quickly mentioning the ghoulish elephant in the room, Fallout 76. That's about it. It's a stupid idea. Fallout has always been a single player franchise, and I consider it still to be. Fallout 76 barely counts as a Fallout game. And that is it for the list. Please comment below with your favourite gaming franchises, as well as the reasons for why you love them, as well as suggestions for future top or bottom fives. Remember that you can vote for next month's top five by pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.